Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Subsistence Land. It looks like, well, it looks like a lovely day. So I think what we're going to do is, as was discussed previously, maybe we're going to go visit uh, our little friends up on the hill. Maybe get ourselves a nice cougar. What's going on over here? Oh, fiber. <laughs> oh, I did do a little bit of... Uh, someone recommended I do some repairs. Uh, yeah, I went through and I repaired a few things. The bow is going to need some sinew. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of that after. Uh, I want to basically see how much sinew I get from this little trip. It's not going to be a huge amount because we're just doing a sort of a day trip. It's not going to be one of the overnight, uh, you know... <laughs> Sometimes I'll go up and I'll do an overnight sort of a thingamabobber where I basically, you know, try to get as many cougars as I can and then overnight and then do, an do another run, et cetera, et cetera. But this time, I think we're just going to do the, uh, yeah, we're going to do a sort of a reconnoiter. The idea, the main purpose of this little trip is to basically go and see, oh, hey, there's scrap over there. Nice. Yeah, the main the main point of this little trip is is really just to check out Charlie and see how they're doing, uh, and go from there. Uh, maybe you know, d decide whether we want to maybe do a little bit of a I don't know maybe pop a visit, <laughs> pop by for a visit. <laughs> if we do, we're gonna have to do it. Like we need to know what we're dealing with as far as the doors and stuff like that. So uh, that's part of the reason why I wanted to to come up. Uh, and take a look first. Uh, just see what the situation is. And then go from there. Okay. Um. Hmm. You know, if there's a lock crate... No, let's not start looking for lock crates. Alright, we want to go up and see Charlie. Now, the thing is that Charlie's literally just like right over the hill. Right uh, that way. That's where they are. So... The other problem that we have is that we're we're basically normally I would go up that way, but there's there's first of all Charlie, but also we do have to be careful with the cougar. So let's get this out. Let's get our uh, SVT out, and we'll uh, go in a little cautious. The cougar can be anywhere through here, all the way down through over there, just up and around. It can be any number of different places. I'm going to have the SVT out just in case, but also I do need wood. So <laughs> we're going to get this. We're going to get wood as well. Uh, I'm getting really low on supplies. We've been doing a lot of building and yeah, I've been churning through boards. I actually had to make more boards just so I could do some weapon repair. So that was the other reason why I was sort of a little hesitant to repair everything. It was just because my resources were kind of low. You know what, Wolf? You know, I... Here. I don't need you hanging out between me and my little cabin up there and then have to worry about you as well as my... as the cougar. I... You know, one thing at a time, buddy. Seriously. There we go. And then we can come over here and we can just wash our hands. All right. Now, let's go take a look and see what we're dealing with. Um... Yeah, SVT. I'm going to go with an SVT. All right, so we're just basically going to come up the side here. Oh, is the weather turning? Oh, man, I had high hopes it was going to be a lovely day, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Oh, we're into September, too. I'm dressed for summer. Oh, I really should have uh, thought of that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, boy. Okay, what are we dealing with? What's up here? Nothing. Oh, hey, crate. That's kind of nice grab you. Now the danger is when I run around with the uh, SVT out like this, uh, it's 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 basically that I'll probably accidentally shoot something. It happens a lot. It's one of, <laughs> one of the reasons why I run around with the bow out all the time. Oh hey, look at you. Is because the <laughs> you can't accidentally fire the bow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I used to shoot a lot of things with a shotgun all the time. All right, how are we doing in here? We got a, well, let's do that. Maybe, uh, oh, we don't have an, do we have any, uh, we have a match and, oh, well, we could, uh, well, we've got some, uh, interesting. Okay, hang on a moment. 
you know what? Let's not light the fire yet. We don't need it. We don't need it. We're going to hang on to what we've got right now and, and go for, go with that. Well, maybe we'll have a berry. And we'll just uh, put that in there and, I don't know, just hold on to the rest of this stuff. I've got, I got 165 nails in here. I don't think I need that many. Here, I'm going to take some back with me. <laughs> That's a lot of nails. All right. Um, right. Two parts to this plan. The first is let's get the cougar out of the way. And the reason why we want to do that is we don't, while we're trying to take a look at, at uh, Charlie, we don't want to have a cougar sneak up on us because we weren't aware of where it is. So let's get the cougar done first. Now there is a bear. Oh, there she is. There she is, right there. All right. You know, I wonder if we can make this shot. Yep. <laughs> let's reload. Okay, just in case. Oh, there she is. Okay, now I can't see 132. Not quite enough for a single shot of the shotgun. However, if we were to do this... Now we should be able to just take her out with one shot of the shot. Come on! Seriously? You gonna make me wait? <laughs> oh my goodness. No, no. <laughs> All right, fine. Slide, 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 slide. <laughs> now she's a level one. What are we going to get out of this? I wonder. Hmm. Uh, six sinew. Oh, that is not bad. I can deal with six sinew. All right, I think we've taken care of the situation in this immediate area. So let's go and take a look at uh, how Charlie's doing. What else did we get, by the way? Oh, we got a bit of meat. That's uh, not bad. Okay. Okay. I mean, really, I mean, I can get meat from anything, but... Sinew, on the other hand, you pretty well, you're down to cougars and moose. Uh, as we've mentioned before, or I've mentioned, I, I, I really do think that you should get at least one piece of sinew from a deer. It would make it a lot more... Oh, look at the progress that they've made. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is really well done. Look at that. Uh, okay. I'm going to assume that they have a... Oh, hey, Bear. Um, do I want to deal with this situation? How, do, how much do I want to deal with this situation is the question. All right. Let's take a look at what we're dealing Let's go over here. I, was, I wanted to get a nice overview from over there, but let's get one from over here. It's not too bad. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, I think that if we did attack them, I, we would definitely need a uh, breaching charge. And what I probably will do is I'm going to, I I think that they're ready for uh, for a, a little bit of uh, a visit. So I think maybe we'll do that. We'll, we'll take care of that in, a, in the near future. I'm not promising when I'm going to do it. Here, let's see if we can get this without aggravating them. See, I'm giving them a nice profile shot so they can just shoot me. You like that? That was pretty cool, right? All right. Let's deal with Mr. Bear. Um, this will do. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Before we do anything... Uh-oh. Come on. <laughs> and good. This is what I was hoping for. I didn't want the bear sliding down too close. If I did it over there, it would slide down right to that river. And I would be in a bit of trouble with, uh, with Charlie. I think here we're, we're okay. I think we're not going to get into any trouble. All right. Whoa, there we go. Okay. Man, my hands are all bloody. All right. Let's see if we can get ourselves another cougar. Let's try and make this uh, trip a little bit more worth it. Doo -doo -doo. All right. So let's um, also think about the situation with uh, with Charlie. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do like... Uh, I'm going to prepare for two cases. 
right? Um, I'm going to prepare for, well, first of all, the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is that they do have the, uh, whatchamacallit, they got the, the armored door, right? And if they've got an armored door, I, I really, you know, you, you kind, you, you, there are, you don't need a breaching charge, but it really does help. And so it's kind of the best way to get in. All right, let's see if we can find, let's chat while we, uh, see if we can spot another. Is that the cougar right there? There's the cougar right there. Um... Okay, we'll chat in a minute. How about that? Where did she go? Uh, there she is. No! No. Oh, buddy. Okay, we're just gonna... No, we're just gonna... I don't want to screw around, man. Just come here. All right. You're good. You're good. Let's get you... Okay. Okay. Reload the shotgun while we still remember. And let's figure out what we're dealing with here. What are we dealing with? One eighty. Oh, that's a tough one. <clears throat> Let's take a chance. Let's take a chance on this. Let's do it. One twenty. Is it still one twenty? You, you keeping your one twenty? Oh, I backed up into a bush. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, the danger in that whole situation is that this cougar, it is entirely possible that it would uh, just creep a f just one or two hit points. Oh, there we go. 11. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff. We're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, anyways, it would creep a, a one or two hit points up between my first shot and my second shot. And the, the, the shotgun only does 120 hit points of damage. And so you kind of got to keep a real close eye out um, on that whole situation. It, it essentially, if if the the cougar's got 180 hit points, I can do 60 hit points of damage with the bow. Uh, and then, yeah, we're gonna take the back route here back. Oh, did I leave anything back? Ah, let, what the hey? Let's go back over to the to the to the cabin, and. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, let's just go back to the cabin. It's kind of the, the sort of the way I usually go through here, and we might as well do it right. Yeah, let's just do it that way. I can't remember if I if there's anything back there that I want to take back to the base. So that's basically what it boils down to. So I just want to take an opportunity to te to double check. I don't think there is, but you never know. So, um, all right, so, oh man, I think I've left a couple of open conversation points here. Uh, the first, let's just wrap up the Charlie thing. Yeah, we're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna do a, we're gonna make a breaching charge, but we're also gonna make enough stuff that we can go in with just Molotovs if we need to. And so basically, yeah, we get there, we, we'll, we'll deal with whoever's outside the base. Oh, this is the plan, basically. Deal with whoever's outside the base. Um, and, yeah, I'm eating raw meat because I want to make sure I've got stamina back. Uh, yeah, like, like you know, uh, buddy down there, right? We'll deal with that, and then re we'll evaluate the door situation. It looks like it might be wood. I don't can't really tell from here very well, though. It, if it is armored, then we basically switch over. We do the breaching charge. If it's wood, we just do Molotovs or something like that, or a Molotov or a grenade arrow. I don't know. We'll find out. But basically, we're gonna have two tiers of um, two tiers of of uh, damage that we're gonna, or two tiers of of attack that we're gonna have available to us, and we'll decide at the time which one we want to do. So there's there's that. Um. I think I had another conversation point that I was... Yeah, this, I can't remember. <laughs> I, I don't remember. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, let's just go back and take a look at what we're dealing with in here. I think it had to do with this uh, forward operating base here. Um, do I want to do anything special? Well, one thing we could do... Oh, I don't have any canteens up here. Now, that's interesting. I was going to try and wash my hands. Oh, that's all right. We're, we're doing fine here. I'm going to have one of you just to get a little bit of energy back. And I don't think there's anything else. This is all the kind of stuff that I like to have up here. Just emergency supplies of some fuel, fire starter, a bit of food, uh, 
I'll grab the biofuel because I don't think there's any... No, this is for making fire starter kits. That's right. So we're going to leave that up here. Okay, we're good. Let's head on back. Uh, I'm going to swim by... Uh, swim. Swing by <laughs> this little uh, upper lake here. The This point up here, just to wash my hands. Because it's been a little while since I've done something. And I'm starting to think I might get infected real soon. Um... I don't have a real good feel for how long it's been since the first, the, since I took out that first uh, animal. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a nice little uh, ammo crate. It's like a little, little present. Sweet. And I think what we'll do, let's just swing back down this way. Oh, there's a deer down there. And a bear. Oh, hey, bear. Hey, there's a big tree. Actually, you know what? We don't come over here very often. Let's go. Let's take the upper route here. Where, do, How much of this do we have opened up on the map? Not a much. Maybe let's open up a little bit of the map, too. Why not? Do, 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 do. We don't come up here very often. Let's make a little bit of a an outing of it. We got a couple of cougars, uh, which gave us uh, 11 uh, sinew, so that's not bad. Not bad for just a little day trip, a little, a little loot, a little light looting. But yeah, this is the, the kind of the, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like two rivers, but not really. And, uh, we don't come up here very often. There's not much, what is that right there? I think it's just a plant. But let's go up and take a look. There might be some, yeah, it's just a lying fern yeah there really isn't much over here it's uh it's pretty spare i mean there's the fence right there and there's a little thing of trees there's a kind of a weird well i wonder if, if cold games has fixed it he may or may not have it i don't think it would be high priority but some of the uh, terrain back here some of the vegetation kind of floats up off the off the Oh, you might have fixed it. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I thought it was, like, somewhere right in here. Hey, Wolf, how's it going? Yeah, I thought it was, like, right in here somewhere. And, uh, yeah, maybe he's, uh, maybe he's fixed it. Or maybe I'm just completely mistaken about where it is. It's possible. Either, either option is pretty valid. Okay, where are we? Yeah, we're following the fence line. Let's get some... Yeah, we'll get some map. I it This helps in two ways. Number one, I know this map really well, like, th all through here. Well, okay, let's not... Let's not get cocky. I know it fairly well. We've we spent a lot of time playing co-op over here. Uh, I had my, my base. I had a base that was literally just, like, right over there. Um, so I've spent a lot of time over in this little area. And, uh... So I don't need the map to, to really help navigate it all that much. The, uh, however, um, the other thing that's super helpful is that uh, basically it opens up the map and it allows me to see where the, the, if there's rogues over here, it may allow me to see a rogue camp, right? Yeah, so we're just gonna keep cruising along here. There's, hey, Mr. Bear, how's it going? And essentially, where, where we're going, general. Oh, hey. Oh, I forgot. There's like different uh, terrain over here. It was, it was part of the map where you had differences in set. Oh, I'm. I just don't go over here very often, and I'd forgotten about that little detail. Little touches that you know, as he's expanded the map. Hey, hey, wolf. He's uh, added some of these things. Look at that through there. That's actually really cool. I wonder if he's ever going to open up these some of these parts of the map. Not seeing a lot of lot of loot, but I'm also I'll I'll be honest with you. Oh hey bear, I'm not really paying a huge amount of attention to it attention to it either. So that's probably a mistake, but whatever. Uh, now I do come up here fairly often, so you'll probably see it on the map. Yeah, see I've I've ventured this way a lot. Now, I do know that there are rogues, like, literally right there. So we're not going to go, like, all the way down over that way. But maybe what we can do is we'll just... 
do a little bit more filling out of the map. I know people have asked me to do that um, off and on, so now, I, I do have to be careful. We are running out of daylight. Yeah, see, I had a I had a hunter base like right in here at one point back when I had my base down in that little cove over there. Oh, it's a pig! Hey, pig, how you doing? Hey! Oh, look at you! Snortle, snortle, how's my inventory? Why not? Let's, uh... Now, are you gonna run if I do this? Or are you gonna... No, you're gonna get super mad at me. There we go. That's another situation that's kind of dangerous. He had exactly 120 hit points. And my bow does 60. And if he gained back one hit point in between the first shot and the second shot, then you can't, you can't. The, okay, with the bow, the problem is it takes a lot of time. Oh yeah, we're, we're running out of light. With the bow, it takes time to uh, re, like to pull another arrow out, right? And to reset your bow and all that sort of stuff. And, hang on. Oh, that's interesting. Not caught up with me. Huh. Uh, and so, if if you are using the bow exclusively, and you've got something like that's got 120 hit points, and so you shoot it, it's got down to 60, and then all of a sudden for a little bit, is this actually filling in now? No, it's not. Ooh. That may fill in a little later. Oh, hey. Let's start heading down the hill. I don't want to get too close to those guys over there. Um, so let's say, yeah, you, you, uh, hey, wolf, whoop, uh, you shoot, you, you have a 120 hit points, you shoot it with the bow, right, and it brings it down to 60 hit points, and then in between when it comes, ooh, it comes back, uh, whoa, there we go, bye, wolf, <laughs> Um, in between when it, you, uh, the first shot and second shot, it gets a hit point back. And then next thing you know, you've got a boar with 61 hit points. You shoot it with another arrow just as it gets to you. Oh, there's the, there's the rogues. Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, just mind your own business. I'll be over here. Uh, now he's got a one hit point and he's not any less dangerous because he's got one hit point. He's still going to like mess you up. Uh, he's still got all his teeth, right? <laughs> he's, got, he's, you know, or his tus tusks. So he's going to do bad things to you. And then um, the problem is now you've got this boar and you've got your bow out. And you, you in, in the time it takes for... Well, the boar might not be so bad because the... Well, let's, let's just re put a pin in that one thought for a minute. Um... So the uh, so in the time it takes for you to reload an arrow, if the boar continues to attack you, he will kill you. Like oh hey, you. He will kill you. Like they they're you know the animals are no no joke, and um, so yeah, so the only option you would have really is to switch over to another weapon. But that takes time too, and so. You could start maybe backing up or start running backwards, right? To basically put a little distance between you and whatever, whatever it is that you're going after. Now, we're going to take the water route back. I don't feel like going back to the, my base in the dark. So we're just going to swim back. But, um... Yeah, let's, let's just swim back. Is that... Oh, nope, it is. There we go. All right, now... Um, yeah, so so really, uh, that one hit point that the, that a boar like gets, that's super dangerous. That one hit point can kill you. And I've had that happen to me a couple of times now um, with wolves. Uh, so it's a thing. It it happens. Not it's not it it's not that it doesn't happen ever. It happened. And it's happened to me twice now because <laughs> something killed me because I wasn't thinking about it and I wasn't ready mentally to switch over to another weapon, right? Um, if you're mentally prepared for it, you can sort of like, you know, kind of get ready and think quickly and switch over to something else and back off while, while if something's attacking you, you back away to give you a bit of time, you switch to another weapon and then you shoot. 
that that is a perfectly reasonable sequence of events is it something that i would be likely capable of doing probably not because uh well okay all right all right all right, all right. look 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 okay i'm not bad at certain things I'm not terrible i by no means am a, i'm great at, at like you know shooting and all that i'm not bad if I can think about what it is that I'm doing ahead of time and be mentally sort of like have a sequence of events in my head ahead of time and then go through the sequence of events right where I have trouble is if something happens that goes outside of that sequence of events and then I have to sort of think on my feet and make my fingers work at the same time and do stuff. That's when I run into trouble. That's that's often like if I when I get killed, that's what happens, right? Or you know, like I'm doing something and <laughs> and and things don't go exactly as I thought they would. They go sideways, and maybe it's an occasion where, for example, it would be really ha handy to pull out the pistol. Because the pistol, the thing about the pistol is you can fire rapid fire, right? Seven or six six shots. Ooh, I've only got one. Hang on. Let's reload that bad boy. Um, so you can own, you know, you've got seven shots that you could rapidly fire off very quickly. Or this double barrel shotgun where you can fire off two shots very, very rapidly. Did this door get left open? It did. Oh, I'm taking uh, cold damage. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch over to some my outfit a little bit. Anyways, that's where I run into trouble. <laughs> it's if, I, if, it, if I'm outside my plan, like, if I, I haven't accounted for what it is, like, the event, the possibilities. If I haven't accounted for possibilities, that's when things get really kind of dicey. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to have to get a whole bunch more wood. <laughs> So, uh, oh, and also, let's make some cordage. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. And is there anything else that goes in here? Uh, not really. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No. Yeah, that's feathers. Feathers are in here. Uh, sinew. We're up to 34 sinew. That's not terrible. Um, let's see. You go in here. You go in here. This in here as well. So yeah, there you go. That's there's my um, those are my those are my weak spots, right? You always got to know what your weak spots are. Oh, you know what we could do. Speaking of oh, weak spots, I do love me a good good rack of ribs. Uh, I believe it's one of you, two of you, two of you, and two of you. Nice. Uh, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's put the rest of this stuff away before I forget what I'm... Um, oh, you can go in here, too. Yeah. And that can go in there. Oh, my plants are all going to be ready. That's right. We were super close to having all of our plants ready uh, in the last one. Grab all that. Just while we're, you know, keep it busy, right? Okay. That goes in there. That and that goes in there. All right. And we're, gonna, we're still making some more cordage, so it'll be fine. All right. Let's take care of plants first. And... Actually, you're going to probably be almost ready, like, within, like, almost no time. Um, actually, what we should do is we're going to feed the animals, but we're going to feed them tomatoes. Uh, I do have some, um, I have, do have some, the casserole. We're not going to talk about what kind of casserole it is, but we have some casserole for the animals. Oh, 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 wait, is it almost daytime? Okay, quick, quick, quick. Yeah, see, they're down here. This is where I came down. I swear that al that algorithm and is I don't know it's very interesting that sort of 
that concept look and look it didn't record some of where i went isn't that weird that's not perfect that's fine that's absolute okay so we got rogues here uh we've got that's no that's bravo so we got at the top of the we got at the top of the 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 um uh the valley and over here okay i didn't go all the way over there but yeah that's basically that's near the edge of the old map okay all right that's good to know so end of the lake end of the valley edge of the old map okay all right that's good to know do, 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 do. grab you and you and yeah, see, there's the casserole is more than that. So let's just do that. There we go. That's good enough. No, one more water. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so many people want me to take care of them, like make them go away. No. <laughs> There's a certain point. There is a certain point in this game where I just like to have them around. I'll be honest with you. That's what it is. I just like having them around. And uh, I've done it before where I've had them around for quite a while. And just they're just like, they're just sort of guards. They're little companions. And um, I don't, because I don't really need to have, um, I don't need any of their materials right now. I'm doing pretty fine. And they make a little bit of the, the manure for, for, for fertilizer. Not, I don't think as much as if they were still, um, going up in level, but it's just, you know, a little bit enough to sort of make a, a little bit of a difference. There we go. And tomatoes. Wow. How's my inventory? We're still good. Okay. All right. Look at this. Oh, and actually, that's just while we're here. Let's just do something like that. Grab maybe a bit of you. One water. Yeah, this doesn't need anything at all. Uh, once the plants stop growing, they don't use near as much of the resources. They don't. Well, they don't use any. 96. That's good. That's good. All right. Uh, put that there, that there. Okay. Now, what are we going to plant? Well, uh, we're going to do a bed of tomatoes. So we don't even have to har uh, harvest seeds because we've got uh, eight left over. We're going to do a bed of potatoes. So let's get um, five, six, seven, eight. Split that in half. Put that right there. Let's, so we've got those two, and we're going to do a bed of carrots. Here, let's just do it this way. Okay, and then we're going to do a bed of... Well, we could put... Let's do one cotton and uh, onions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, here, let's fill up. Let's, let's get this done first. And then we'll do you, and then we'll do, over here, we'll do this one, uh, carrots, and then this one, we'll do the, this, and then we'll, 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 uh, do the balance with, um, seven. There, all done. We're, we've got, oh, there it is. Oh, here, we'll save that for the very end. <laughs> oh, let's get some water. Do, 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 do. Oh, do I need water? Ah, I do, but let's not worry about it. Uh. There we go. Uh, we really did not use a lot of water just because most of the plants didn't have to do a lot of growing before they were done today. Uh, yeah, let's put that away. And we'll finish off. We'll put this in here. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, <laughs> there's like a lot of... Oh, somebody said I've got uh, weapons parts. Oh, I do. I've got weapons parts in two places. Or three places. I only want them in two places. Uh, this is for using them for mass. And this is because this is my my main store in case I need to do any uh, fixing and, and uh, building and stuff like that. So in the meantime, I don't think I have any more. We'll just put the uh, extra potassium. I've got one stack of potassium in there and then I'll just I'll just use the overflow. Whatever I get extra, I'll use that for um, uh, fertilizing the plants. All right, let's do this. We'll eat you. That should give me almost full. No, it'll give me full, of course. Yeah, 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 because it does more than full. Perfect. And what am I up at? I'm at 108 stamina and 112 health. Nice. All right, well, um, tomorrow I think what we're going to do we're going to basically do the prep work we need to build up all the materials to go after them. I'm going to make a breach charge. Um, we're going to maybe get some Molotovs happening. Maybe we'll look at some of the other options like a grenade tipped arrow. I'm not really sure exactly what we want to do because we're going to have to break into interior doors as well. So at least I would say at least one interior door. There's one on the main floor. So yeah, I think that's a good, uh, I, I think that's a good goal for tomorrow is let's get ourselves all prepped and ready for uh, going after Charlie. And then the day after that, let's go after Charlie. <laughs> All right. Until then. Well, I guess, yeah. No, that's good. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.